What's going on, Opinions of the Mind YouTube? Welcome back to my house. It's late at night, but when I have a thought pop up, I can't control it. I want to share it with you. So, I'm going to get a little touchy on this video, so I'm going to warn you. Before I do that, I want you to hit that subscribe button. I want you to support me and my channel, and I want you to help me get this content out to other people. This could become something that is just so incredibly useful to someone's life, and all you have to do is hit subscribe or share this kind of content. So, let's jump into it. Let's talk about a word that we all hate, but we all know is a huge problem in not only our lives, but everyone we know. Debt. Do you let debt change your thoughts? Do you let debt change the way that you approach your day? Do you let debt bog you down so much that you actually start producing much, much lower than you usually do, which causes you to go in even more debt? Don't answer that, because here's the thing. You can't let debt win. You're not you when you're in debt. You've heard of that Snickers commercial, you're not you when you're hungry? Well, you're not you when you're in debt. And the biggest part and the biggest way of getting yourself out of debt starts with the biggest and most important thing that you can do, which is changing your state. You have to, Tony Robbins talks about it all the time, you have to absorb the fact that you are in the situation you're at and you currently put yourself in that situation. Don't go looking for anybody else to blame except for yourself. And then you have to absorb everything that you're feeling and you have to project nothing but happiness, nothing but productivity, and nothing but movement and momentum. Because guess what? You're already in where you're in. So you can sit there and wallow in it or you can sit there and move past it. I choose to move past a lot of things, but I do let other people kind of get to me, especially if they mean a lot to me. And I also kind of let my own thoughts get to me if I kind of feel a little bit overwhelmed. But the biggest thing about it is, is I get right back on that horse and I just keep trotting along. And what I mean by that is, I mean, I keep a smile on my face. I think about, okay, how can I double my income? How can I double my chances to increase more customers in my business? I kind of work about the rules of doubles. I want to turn two into four, four into eight, eight into 16, 16 into 32, and so on and so forth. Because that's the way my brain works is that if I do it once, I can do it a hundred times. And if you get down a system and you think about what works and you go trial and error, trial and error, trial and error, and you make something work for you and you make it exciting and you make it to where you don't have to worry anymore, then your debt will not become a life-changing matter for you anymore. You'll just approach it like, okay, I've been here before. I've overcome a lot in the past when it comes to the subject of debt. And now I know I can get out of it again. So if you're in a financial crisis right now, or if you are in debt at all, period, and you let it govern the way that your day goes on and on, day to day, then you are missing out on the incredible ways that you could be improving yourself daily. And if you improve yourself daily, then you're getting out of debt because you already see yourself out of debt. You feel yourself out of debt. Do you know how much money it's going to take to get you out of debt? If so, and if not, then you got to get that down because that's the first step. The first step is to change your state, yes, but at the same time, you have to be knowledgeable about what kind of situation you've already got yourself in. So take ownership, absorb the fact that you're in it, and find a better way to get yourself out. Because as long as you're sitting there and you're worried about yourself when you've already got yourself into something, then you're not going anywhere. And I want you to go somewhere. Matter of fact, I want you to go everywhere. And the big thing about this that hits close to home is I've been here so many times, but you'll never be able to tell because of the way I make my state. I hope you got something out of this video, and I hope that you're pumped to find out exactly what it's going to take and how much you can overcome as a person. Because we every single day deal with something that's just so heavy on us every time we think about something. How many things are you letting govern your life right now? I hope it's just three things, and that's living, laughing, and loving. You've heard it before. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you ever need something personally, just reach out. Comment below if you're kind of going through something and you need my help, or if you need some advice, or just reach out to somebody you care and love, because we all go through things, and you'll never know until you ask. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you on the next video.